Covering the news in a border community sometimes requires our news crews to work with federal agencies for certain stories. That was the case this week when ICE officials granted us access to record a repreciation flight taking off from the Harlingen Airport. Photojournalist Jose Sines takes us behind the camera and explains the difficulty of shooting stories that are rare to get access to. This week, officials from Immigration and Customs Enforcement, also known as ICE, allowed several local and national media outlets to shoot video of a repatriation flight taking off from Valley International Airport in Harlingen. The passengers on flights like these are people who are being deported to their home country. Although the repatriation flights happen often here in the Valley, we don't always get access to shoot video of them. That's why when I got assigned to this, I knew I had a rare opportunity and had to get as much video as I could. Before shooting the flight, all media had to wait for ICE officials to brief us on what we could and couldn't shoot and other rules the airport had. We then got shuttles to take us from the lobby to the tarmac, and once we got there, we began to record. The most important rule we had to follow was to not show the faces of the migrants being deported and the ICE agents for their safety. They told us to blur their faces out if we did get video of them. Shooting this was a little difficult for me because I was at an angle where we can clearly see their faces. So what I did was shoot from their waist down. I also moved to a location later on to get an angle where we can shoot their full body and avoid their faces. There were instances where it was hard to avoid shooting their faces, so I just made sure to blur the image with my camera focus. It was also a little difficult because we were so far and I couldn't get tight shots of their hands and feet. Overall, it was a great learning experience and showed me how important it is to be able to adjust to small changes and rules when shooting stories with federal agencies. I'm Jose Sainz and this is my photographer's perspective.